what is selective pressure in biology? If you're curious about how certain traits become more common in a population, you're on the right track by asking about selective pressure. Let's break it down to understand this crucial concept in biology. Selective pressure is essentially any factor that affects an organism's ability to survive and reproduce. It's the force that drives natural selection, a key process in evolution. Imagine a population of beetles with different colors. In this scenario, the environment and other organisms can exert selective pressures that influence which color beetles are more likely to thrive. For example, if the environment is cold, darker colored beetles might have an advantage because they can absorb more heat, which helps with thermoregulation and metabolism. On the other hand, lighter colored beetles might be better camouflaged on a light background, making them less visible to predators. This is how selective pressures can favor certain traits over others. Selective pressures can come from various sources, including environmental conditions like temperature, weather, and geographical location. Biological factors, such as predators, diseases, and competition for resources also play a significant role. For instance, in a hot and dry climate, plants that have adaptations to store water or absorb it more efficiently will have a better chance of survival and reproduction. Human activities can also act as selective pressures. For example, the use of pesticides can lead to the evolution of pesticide-resistant insects. Similarly, the development of antibiotics has resulted in the evolution of antibiotic-resistant bacteria. These resistant bacteria survive and reproduce, passing on their resistant genes to the next generation. Another classic example is the peppered moth. Before the Industrial Revolution, these moths were mostly light-colored, blending in with the light tree bark. However, with the increase in pollution, the trees became darker due to soot. This change in environment favored the survival of dark-colored moths, which were less visible on the dark tree trunks, while the light-colored moths were more easily spotted by predators. Selective pressures must act before reproduction to have an effect on the population. This means that the pressures need to be present throughout an organism's life, or at least before it reproduces. For instance, diseases that affect an organism before it reaches reproductive age can significantly influence the traits that are passed on to the next generation. In summary, selective pressure is the driving force behind natural selection, influencing which traits become more common in a population based on various environmental, biological, and even human-induced factors. Understanding these pressures helps us see how populations adapt and evolve over time.